Hey guys, Sock here from Socky e Ticket. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing five powerful features for your Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 using the S Pen. So let's dive in and get started right away and enhance your ownership of this fantastic smartphone and this great tool. Now, by the way, after you watch the video, if you want to end up buying the S Pen in case you don't have it, I'm going to drop a link down below so you can get it at the best price. That link's gonna be down below. So the very first thing I'm gonna show you guys is how to use the S Pen to write on your calendar. So let me launch the calendar application, all right? And I'm gonna show you guys over here, here, and here, what I have is I have handwritten notes that I wrote with the S Pen onto the calendar. This makes the whole thing much more fantastic. So once you pull up the calendar, if you wanna write on the calendar with the S Pen, there's two options. The first option, you come over here and you see that little pen icon? When you hover over it, it says write. So if I tap it, it activates the write mode. Once that is activated, I can pinch in to anywhere that I want. Let's just pinch into uh, number seven here, September 7th, and I can pinch up to 400% maximum and I can start writing anywhere here that I want, okay? X, 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 just as an example. And then what you wanna do is you wanna tap on save. Now once you tap on save, whatever I wrote actually remains on top of that date. And here's the great news, when I exit the calendar, and when I go back into it, calendar, all those things are gonna retain themselves right there and you can see them easily. And because we have a larger screen, it's even more fun to write on a larger screen. Now that's one way to write on the calendar. What if you just wanna jump right into it? If you're in the home screen, what you can do is you can press this button here on the S Pen, bring it close to the screen, press the button, and it brings up the air command. Now once you, once you bring up the air command, there's an option you can add into the air command that says write on calendar. When I click on this guy, I can go straight into writing into calendar. So let me come here, just uh, zoom in, and I can write whatever I want. I can tap on save, exit, and I'm good to go. So that's the easier way to do it. Now to activate this feature, again, press this button, bring up the air command. And then at the bottom, it says add. Click on it, and what you're gonna see is if you have not made any modifications uh, to your air command so far, let me just remove this. You're gonna see this option, right on calendar option, under this area where it says S Pen Features. So all you do is you tap on it, and it's gonna get dumped over to your air command, okay? And then when I go out and press the button to bring up the air command, I am actually able to access that uh, functionality at the bottom right here. And just a side note, by tapping on Add, and going into the air command menu, you can modify all this stuff. Okay, let me just X all these out to show you an example real quick. So, alrighty, so on air command, I can even have my applications if I wanted to. So I can have a calculator for application. Uh, let's say I wanna have a clock application, and then I can have a bunch of S Pen features like create a note and smart select. Now when I go back out, and if I uh, bring up the air command menu by clicking that button, it's gonna bring up the customized version that I just set up myself, okay? That's just a side note, the big thing is write on calendar, okay? Start writing immediately, anywhere that you want. Great way to customize that calendar and make it look much more personalized. Now one more thing in relation to the air command menu, if I press the button, it brings up the air command menu. Now I don't like things to be this big, so what I like to do is I like to use the simpler version of Air Command. So you can either tap on Settings right here to go directly into Settings, but I just wanna show the full thing. Go into the Settings, then go down over to Advanced Features, go into S Pen, and then scroll down and look over here, it says Air Command Menu Style. I can click on this guy, and I can tap on Compact. Now, when I go back out here, 
it is a much more compact menu that I can access. And I, if I hover over these icons, and if I hover over these icons, you can see we're gonna get a quick preview of what each one of these applications actually does. Now hover over means don't touch the screen, just hover over it to get an air preview, okay? So I like this one much better. Let's move on to the next tactic. Now I'm assuming because you have the S Pen, you'll be taking notes a lot. So the application is known as Samsung Notes application. That is Samsung's note taking application built into every Samsung phone. With the S Pen, you have some really cool features you can activate. So let's go into the notes here. And I'm just gonna create a brand new note. And for people that like to take a lot of notes, let me just next, 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 next this. All right, so here we have it. Uh, there is something very important. Now, normally, when you come and you draw a circle, okay, oh, let me activate the pencil here. Let's just uh, do this one a little bit thicker. Let's do red color. Uh, let me just draw a circle. Look at that nasty circle. It's not really a circle. So look at this triangle. Look at this square. All this stuff can be cleaned up into super clean circles, squares, and triangles. So if you're taking notes and you wanna do some graphical stuff, this is gonna take it to the next level. So let me delete these guys. And if you look at this bar on the top, you can swipe it over. And here's an icon, okay? It says auto shapes. You wanna tap on it, auto fix shapes. You wanna tap on it before you draw a circle and look at what happens. Fantastic, that's a perfect circle. So look at this, if I was a math uh, student, I can now create something like this, and then I can disable this, and I can paint inside here. I'm sure you guys know what this is all about. You've probably taken the math classes. Uh, but again, if you, have, if you activate this, anytime you draw a shape, it's gonna turn that into a perfect shape, as you can see, okay? So with the square, let me just try to do a real square here. Look at that, beautiful, okay? Now one more thing, even if I were to do a rectangle, it's gonna work, look at that. Okay, so it's very, very smart. Uh, basically, it will work with any circle, even a star, let me see. Let's see what happens, there we go, okay? So make sure you make use of this feature to take your note taking to the next level. Now, another thing I wanna show you guys that's very, very important is how to sign files PDF files specifically on your Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. If somebody sends you a PDF file and they want you to sign it electronically, again, all you do is launch Samsung Notes application, and then over here on the top, you're gonna see it says PDF Plus, okay? Let me see what happens when I hover over it. It says Import PDF. So all you do is after you download the PDF file, you click on the plus, all right? And then let me just pick a random document here that I have. Let's just bring in this one. Let's say this was a contract that I had to sign. I select it, I tap on done, and then the contract gets imported. And let's say there's a signature here that I have to sign. All you do is just grab your S Pen, grab the color you wanna sign in, mostly it's blue or black, obviously. You know, pick a pen or a marker, whatever, and just sign, that's it. That's all there is to it. Super powerful way to sign PDF documents. Now, after you sign it, you can tap this button, you can save that signed file, and you can share that via email, or you can just share it right from here via email. You can see I can convert it to anything that I want before I share it. I can share it as a PDF, as a Microsoft Word file, as a Samsung Notes file, image file, text file, whatever. So if I were to pick PDF file, it's gonna create that, it's gonna allow me to actually share it, okay? So fantastic little tactic. All right, so if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below, let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day, all right?